Today we are going to be looking at an old VCAR question to help your understanding of concentration time graphs and equilibrium. So here we have been given the equation. And first thing to notice is that our delta H, or our change in enthalpy, is positive. This means that our reaction must be endothermic. Okay, so this is a multiple choice question, so we'll go through the answers. What event occurred at time t to cause a change in equilibrium concentrations? So here we have time t. If we look at time t, we notice that NOCl slowly increased and chlorine gas slowly decreased. However, our nitric oxide rapidly increased. So could A be correct? So A says that the pressure was decreased at a constant temperature. Now, if our pressure was decreased at a constant temperature, our equilibrium would shift to the side with less particles. So in this case, it would favor the back reaction. This means that our NOCl would slowly increase, which is correct. Our chlorine would slowly decrease, which is correct. And so should our nitric oxide, which is incorrect because it has rapidly increased. So A is wrong. B says that the temperature was increased at a constant volume. Now, because our reaction was endothermic, increasing the temperature will favour the forward reaction. Therefore, our chlorine should slowly increase, which has not happened. So B is incorrect. In C, it says that a catalyst was added at a constant temperature and volume. Now in equilibrium, adding a catalyst does not change the point of equilibrium, but merely helps it reach equilibrium earlier. So this is also wrong. That leaves us with the final answer of D. However, we will still check this. D says that additional nitric oxide gas was added at a constant volume and constant temperature. Now this makes sense because our concentration of nitric oxide should rapidly increase. Now because we're adding more product, the back reaction should be favoured. So our chlorine should slowly go down, which has happened, and our NOCl should slowly increase, which has happened. Therefore, the answer is D. Hopefully this video has helped your understanding of concentration time graphs and equilibrium.